Good morning everybody. Some people might recognise this place. It's an area that I haven't fished before, so you won't recognise it from my videos, but you might have come through here yourself in the past. Anyway, uh, it's, it's somewhere new for me to fish. I've had a quick walk along the bank a couple of times in the past, but nothing particularly outrageous effort-wise. It's only a little pool here, but I'm hoping to find a few different pools to get around in this morning. I've seen a couple of good splashes so far, so we're going to have a bit of a look. The water's down compared to the few times that I've been through. A few little things hitting the surface, but we're not looking for the little ones today. We're looking for Saratoga particularly. Um, who knows what else is going to be here, but anyway, we'll, we'll give it a go. Hopefully the weather holds and it's not too windy. At the moment it's good. Well, it's nice to start with surface. The water clarity is actually pretty good. Probably better than I expected. We're actually really quite shallow here, we're only a metre deep. And that's probably no great surprise there. So we're really just hoping that we've got some fish hanging about in here. It really should be. Provided they haven't all died of course, but Ooh, I reckon that was one just there. Either that or was a turtle. Oh, such a beautiful environment here. We're only just off the highway, so we expect this to be more pressured than a lot of the other areas, but. That might make it harder getting onto a fish. It might mean we end up not catching anything, but it is particularly beautiful in here. There's a little cut. Well, it was. Not around five feet of water. I might actually hit something here. We're on something. Ah! Oh. Toga, yes! Yes! Oh, beautiful one too. Oh, what do you know? The little greedy guts. I'm going to have to be so gentle with this. I hope you don't snap off. Oh, yes. Yes, what a moment. Oh, I thought that was such a little tap. I had to go subsurface. But learning from previous experience with them, and not that I've had a lot of experience with them, but I have had to um, go to a small diving lure in the past, and I've had success with these ones before so with little greedy guts and that sort of lure there's a fair chance it's going to be a good way down which is a bit of a worry but 
Not a bad sort of a sized fish, this one. Not a bad start. Oh, yes. Oh, no, it's not too far down. You know, it's only an hour from home. I'm so fortunate in central Queensland and in Rockhampton to be able to be fishing for barramundi and Saratoga and mangrove jack and mackerel and these sorts of fish all around the place. We've got fish that are just so worthwhile chasing and they're all really some of the, my favourite spots are within an hour of my home and I'm just so fortunate to have that a lot of people just don't get that experience you know and I'm watching a couple of guys the other week come up here just for the sake of trying to chase Saratoga and I'm able to do that virtually from home you guys watching but oh that is so good so good yes yes and a beauty too oh the colors on these things are just magic just magic That's awesome. So excited about that. So relieved about that too. Um, that hook has sat nicely in that top of that tissue. And the thing is, it sounds ridiculous going to such a small size lure for these fish. But, um, you know, sometimes you just have to. You've just got to go downsize until you get it right. And to be fair, I've only been on the water for three quarters of an hour. But learning from experience and then taking that and turning it into a fish, it's, it's well worth it. We'll give this one a measure in a moment. Actually, I can get a, a quick measure right next to me here. So, uh, yeah. yeah. It's going to be up around 65, so... fish to hold for a photo. Oh, so happy with that. So happy. Right next to the bridge. Now, I don't want to be giving away spots of course, but it's not a huge secret spot. I was actually telling the guys about this spot the other week that a nice easy one for them to go for a drive and have a look um, when they were coming through from their trip out to town out at Maura 63 centimeters 63 centimeters Yes. 
take our leader and our lead is pretty good that's our lure little greedy guts that's a greedy guts 44 tiniest little size number 20 hooks back off on the drag and it can still do its job we've got one fish under our belt now and that sort of relieves me quite a bit makes me a bit more inclined to be happy going and doing a bit of searching I'm just exploring the area a bit now uh, still want to fish this pool a bit more but at least we know we've got a fish such a relief not that it's a long way for me to travel but you know some of the further some of the more common ones that I head to up the creeks and things like that they're still they're still an hour's drive for me the same sort of distance that I've had to travel today so. not a huge drama for me but it's still very nice to get onto a fish make that effort to get up nice and early and I was gone from home about four o'clock and after not getting to bed particularly early it's good to get out here get a fish and uh, just be able to feel relaxed about it the sun coming up over that hill and starting to hit the water now it's like 7 a.m and we're starting to get a bit of the bird life waking up What a pretty backdrop, yeah? <laughs> Excellent. Little banded grunter. Loved it. <laughs> oh, they're spiky little devils, these things. There you go. Doopish. Alright. For all you punters at home that got onto the $5 Savage Gear Lures deal, here's a uh, version that I picked up myself. We'll open that up and put that on, see what we can do with it. We're on. Don't know what. Catfish, I'd say. Yep, catfish. Stinky, stinky catfish. Maybe we'd have to get one eventually. Surprised I hadn't got one until just then. 
So, well, it's not our target. The Savage Gear Spinnerbait has picked up a fish. Couple of big long toms over here. Didn't pick him out, but he was in there. That right, is next one. Yep, one in that one. This next one. Gotta be a catfish. Ooh. Whatever it is, it's got some size. Toggy. I reckon that was a toga. There's no spine on that. And there were three catfish chasing it. Just a little one. Mm. So are those other ones chasing it. <laughs> the other one's gone off while I've been waiting. That'll be catfish too. It's going to be a good size one too. What I think is going to be catfish going both ways here at the moment. Get these batteries away. One out to my right is going to be quite a big one. It screamed off. 
another one's just chilling out behind me at the moment. And I know the hooks on this are weak because I've broken two of the trebles myself. Just taking hooks out of fish. One heck of a catfish. Look at the head on that thing. There's a fair chance it's completely engulfed that lure. Get in there. I can't lift it in, it's so heavy. Oh, he's a giant. I don't think I've had a catfish that heavy before. size catfish too. A real raspy sort of a mouth too. Check out the size of that thing. That is a sixty-seven centimeter catfish. And I've got one not quite that big on the line at the moment. Not a lot smaller. We're on and it's probably a catfish. Yeah, it is. But I've got one casting, so that's good. guys well we're pretty well done for the day back to the first hole next to the highway here and it's about time for me to head home of course it's a bit hard to head home without just a couple more casts as we are all inclined to do 